Have you heard about FSR? It stands for Fidelity FX Super Resolution. This open source image quality toolkit for game developers was launched by AMD in June 2021. This cutting edge spatial upscaling solution delivers amazing performance boost in games on almost every piece of hardware. So it will kind of transform your 1050 Ti into a big 1490, no problem. Well, almost. Its implementation on Linux is pretty amazing because not only it's easy to install, but you can also use it on games which are not officially supporting the, the technology. So let's jump into it. Hello, I'm Hermax. Before we jump into it, I will ask you a little favor. I'm trying this new recording setup and I need your feedback. So what do you think about the, the camera angle here? Uh, the sound, the color grading here, like do, do I look good? <laughs> like please let me know in the comment below, I would like to hear your point of view. Thanks. E even if it's bad, like just tell me, alright? Like I'm, I'm gonna take it uh, in consideration and try to improve it. Let's start with the beginning. What is FSR and why would you use it on your PC? FSR is a type of rendering technique which boosts your FPS in games by rendering frame at a lower resolution and then using an open source like spatial algorithm to make the game look like it's running at a higher resolution. So you get the idea. You get the FPS you have at 1080p resolution on a bigger display, like a 1440p display. So is it like GLSS? Not really. GLSS, the competitive technology from NVIDIA, is based on proprietary AI. It requires at least a NVIDIA RTX GPU, which means if you own a Pascal architecture, the Series 10, like a 1050 Ti, well, you won't be able to upscale any game via DLSS. The other issue is that game developers need to implement it in their game. So if you want to upscale and own game, there is a high chance that the dev will never implement DLSS in it. Like this, it's just not going to work. So no free 1480 for you on this old game. But this is where FSR shines. First, it's hardware agnostic. You can run it on almost every graphic card, AMD, Nvidia, Intel included. And second, it also like it, it, it does not require like the game developer to implement it in the game. You can, you can basically use it on every game. So what about the performance? FSR has four different quality modes to choose from. Performance mode applies the most scaling at two times the input resolution. And ultra quality mode the least at 1.3 times the input. The four modes and their scaling, so the, the one in the middle, will be like uh, balanced mode at 1.7 scaling and quality mode by 1.5 times the, the, the scaling. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put an image somewhere here with, you know, the, the different scaling, but you get the idea, like the more scaling, the more performance, but also the more visual artifacts and the more error will appear on your screen. So you always have to find like the, the ones that kind of like fit you. Uh, from my experience, uh, quality and ultra quality mode will give you a solid boost in FPS without impacting the game experience. So it's kind of looking good and you get the most of it. Under, it's, it's a little bit artifacted, it doesn't look great. So how do you install it? Well, on Windows, it requires a third party application to use FSR on games which are not supporting it natively. The app is called MacPy. I won't be covering it in this video. I know there is a lot of tutorial on YouTube that cover how to make this work. But I have, I have one thing to say to you guys. Good luck with this one. It does not seem super easy. And um, yeah, I'm not doing that. The good news is that on Linux, you don't need so much effort to use FSR on any game. You just need the custom Proton GE or One GE to have the FSR resolution directly push in any game without any extra hustle. Thanks to Glorious Eggroll and the community, you guys are owning. Like, like all of you. Thank you. Let me explain. 
If you are using Steam, make sure you have selection Proton GE in the compatibility tab. If you don't have Proton GE installed, well, install it. The easiest way to download it is directly from GitHub. And what you have to do after you download it is to extract it to your dot slash steam slash root slash compatibility tools dot D folder. Yeah, this one was a, this one was a tricky one. <laughs> for extracting it, you can use whatever you want. Tar, for example. Uh, then restart Steam and it should show up. There is many other ways to install it, but I'm not covering it in this video. I will put a link in, in there, like in the, the video description below. Just, just believe me. It's, it's easy. If you are using Wine, well, make sure to use Wine dash G dash custom. Is that a dash? Yeah, I think it is. Same process. Make sure you have it selection in your launcher, like, like Lutris or bottles before starting the game. If you don't have it, just download it. Easy. So here, like bottles and Lutris, they have it incorporated in their own like launcher. So you just have to go there and, and download it. Again, like piece of cake. Piece of cake. How to use FSR? This is the best part. You have nothing crazy to do. You go into your game and selection the FSR resolution. Those are the resolution and their four quality presets for 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. So as you can see, there is like four presets, as we mentioned before, for each resolution, and you can add uh, the ultra wide. So I I'm going to put all of them there. So, for example, you have a 1414p monitor and want to run the ultra quality preset. Just go into your game, selection the 1970 by 1108 resolution in your game, and uh, it's done. Now, basically, like all the game you will launch through Proton GE or One GE will include all the FSR resolution related to your own display. You have nothing else to do. You can enjoy FPS for free, papa! For free! Free! Okay, I'm, I'm losing my mind, but that's good, right? You know what is also free? Well, you can give it a thumb up to this video and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Thanks. Also, thanks to all the guys who actually are supporting the channel right now, the YouTube member and the Patreon member. You're the best, guys. Thanks a lot. So, here is an example on Apex Legend. If I launch the game with Proton Experimental, I won't have access to any FSR resolution. Now, selection Proton GE in Steam, launch it again, and boom, I can get more FPS. So you won't see it here because I'm maxing out the FPS with my 1490, but let me know in the comment below like what type of increase you have while you use FSR. Obviously, if you have a 1490, you, you can show off in the comment below too. Here is another example, same for Sifu on the Epic Game Store launch via Lutris. Here has the custom resolution, boom, you are good to go. In terms of quality, it's not perfect. However, I would say it's way better than just lowering the resolution and, you know, free FPS are always welcome. So, what do you guys think? For me, this is an absolute win for all the Linux gamers. If you have a budget PC, and you want to enjoy high FPS, you can. You, you, you don't need to upgrade your card or wait for the dev to implement any type of upscaling solution in the game. You just have to enjoy the SL3 upgrade. When you think about it, open source is just amazing. Latest tutorial I made was about installing Latency Flex. You know the open source um, version of Nvidia Reflex you can use on every graphic card? even AMD one, and you can also like reduce the latency of all those games, you know, all those games supporting NVIDIA Reflex. Well, now with FSR, we get free FPS on every game. It's a win after win after win. If you don't want to miss on the next one, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for all the supporters on this channel again. You're the best. See you in the next video. Bisous. Bisous! Uh, by the way, if, if you want to watch the video on NVIDIA Reflex for Linux called Latency Flex, I'm, I'm going to put a link here. Take care.